What's going on, F5 squad? Scott Seven here, your guildmaster for London Players Guild. And today I'm joined by Peter. How are you doing, sir? I am not doing bad. That is, that is good. That is a way of phrasing it. Peter, let us take us through today's reveal. I've already seen we've got a Pan and Gero unison. I'm already excited. Yeah, and we have Bojack stuff. <laughs> Hit me with that uh, text on the post. Uh, the text is nothing special this time around. They're not explaining anything. It's just, here's the new blue cards. Okay, then let's get straight into Pan and, and Giru. Giru. Energy fortification. A one cost blue unison, yep. which is what blue needs. This is huge. Um, and we have an activate main of plus one. If your leader card is a mono blue saying card, you may add one blue card. With an energy cost of one from your energy to your hand, if you do choose up to one mono blue card from your hand and place it in your energy and rest mode, I guess that's how you trigger Krillin. Uh, no, that's how you get Krillin back, so you can trigger him again next turn. Fair enough. Uh, and then we have a minus two of activate main during your opponent's. Shit, turn. you can trigger Krillin twice in one turn. Lol, lol. During your opponent's turn, uh, your opponent's next turn, they can only attack one time with battle cards. With energy cost greater than their energy. Oh my god, that's good. That is good. You can literally just pay two, drop this, and then use that effect. Yeah. Wow, Pan and Giro coming out the gate strong. Peter, any thoughts on this? Uh, so, yeah, as I said, you can use that Krillin twice in one turn. So, you play uh, Hat at some point. You bounce that Krillin back and charge your skill less. Next turn, you're assuming you have enough skill less in your energy, right? Mm -hmm. Or you're lucky enough with your charges. At the beginning of the turn, you charge Krillin, use him for his ability, or rather use the skillless for Krillin's ability to play that skillless, then charge another energy from the top of your deck, then attack with your leader, put Krillin back into your hand and put it down in energy again, use him to pay for his uh, own skill and play another skillless, uh, and then charge another card. Soul Strike is going to be super funky. There's yeah. A, there's a lot of Soul I think Strike. Gohan, right. I think Gohan is going to be... The there's, best use of yeah, this there's, bill. There's going to be some really fun decks coming out of this. I can I can already feel it. I already feel the energy flowing. Uh, next, we have a new SR, Bojack, on a rampage. Peter, you can take this one. Uh, he looks blue-yellow. And suddenly, he's just, <laughs> he's just blue. blue. Yeah. So, 8-drop, 4 specified blue, 1-cost 10k combo. So, that's going to become a 0-cost 10k combo. I think. Yeah, with the leader. Yep. 30,000 power. So you can't ramp into him. Double strike, dual attack. X evolve for five energy of any color. That's actually a really nice touch. Yeah. And it evolves on top of any Bojack with energy Ooh, cost of three or that, four. That's huge. So you can... Uh, oh, uh, also, you draw two cards. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot about that. On top that. of the counter multicolor one. Yeah. <clears throat> oh so essentially, God. this can work with multicolor. Yeah, that's really is, nice to see. Huge. And it's got more effects. Let's carry uh, yeah, on. Yeah, there's more. Uh, auto, one blue and three energy. At the end of the battle in which this card is used in a combo from your hand or energy, you draw one card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, and place it at the Ooh. bottom of... And then play this card from your draw barrier in the rest wall. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, fall first. You need to pay that four energy. Mm-hmm. But you remove a card, get a 30k dual attack double striker. Yeah. And you can combo it. He's a zero cost 10k combo. This is what I was talking about. You have zero cost 10k combo that draws a card. So essentially, technically, they have more super combos. Jesus. That's... And then auto once per turn. If this card is in rest mode, so as you play it with its own skill. Yep. When your opponent attacks with a battle card, switch up to one of your blue energy to active mode. Then switch up to one of your opponent's energy to rest mode. Whoa! Taxation. He's not unique. Ha! <laughs> this card's nuts. This is great. You're so, in other here. words, now that explains why you want to untap four energy with the Bojack leader. Yeah. So, to get this guy. Yeah, it's like, oh yeah, you're going to swing at me. I'm going to untap my four energy. I don't need to negate yeah. because I'm just going to play this guy. I'm going to combo with him for free and then I'm going to pay my four energy, get rid of something of yours, draw a card. Oh, and, and play this from the drop. More, oh, and I'm then you good. want to attack. Oh, I get another energy up. Yeah. Ah, oh, man, I, I love actually this. need to check something very uh, yeah. quickly. That's fine. I'm going to move on to the next card, and then you can correct anything if you need to. Okay. <laughs> I was check no, no, no. I was checking if the leader is once per turn. Okay. <laughs> 
So we have another card that's a Bojack, but it looks like a Vegeta. You know what it reminds me of? That Frieza card that looks like it's Trunks. Yes. I, Everyone I, thinks it's a Trunks. Yeah, the, the one where he's slashing him in two. Yes. Um, and that's a Frieza card. <laughs> I just love it. <laughs> Vegeta's just getting it ass handed to him. Uh, so it's Bojack, the ev- evil doer. Evil doer, that's what that word is. Definitely nothing. E- I was going to say evil doer. And I was like, that's not the word. Okay. <laughs> uh, so it's a four cost, two specify blue, one 5k, which means obviously it's zero 5k with blue Bojack leader. Dual attack, auto. At the end of the battle, in which this card is used in a combo, so it's another combo play. But... Yeah. This guy is your evolved target, so you pay him for two. Uh, you you bring him out. two energy, yeah, but he doesn't come in rest mode. Nope. And then uh, he has another skill. He spins your opponent's battle card. No. Ah oh, man, Burjack, Burjack, they've just done such a good job. They've made no blue, way. They've made blue what blue needed to be. Oh my god. They've just done such a fantastic job. Uh, next, we have Goku. To be fair, I would, I would like to use this card in middle number. Yeah, I mean, it's doable, right? It's four cost. It's free energy to remove something, and then you get the dual attack then to threaten their unison. Yeah. Uh, Goku with the Calamity. We saw this in the trailer, but we couldn't see what it did. This is a 0-5 combo. Uh, when you play it, top five cards from the top of your deck, add up to one Bojack Brigade with an energy cost of three or less, or up to one blue unison with a specified cost of four. This is not color locked. This is huge. There is definitely a concerted effort to make blue, yellow, burjack viable. Yeah. So you can use the yellow cards in here. Uh, this one co- is zero cost 5k combo. So uh, the leader scale is for the two bojacks we have just seen. Yeah. Uh, and then we I have will the, point I, out we haven't seen the unison for the bojack. Exactly. Yet. I, it's got to be a multicolor unison. There's, I am confident. Yeah, because I think we will see it, it here, but there is also a leftover card that are going to be on Friday. I am I'm convinced it's a multicolor unison at this point. Like, it, a yeah. first, a four specified, it's going to be an SR blue, yellow, blue. Doesn't unison. say mono blue unison, just as blue unison, so yeah. 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 So activate battle once per turn, pay one. This card gets 11k and critical until the start of your next main phase. Oh, that's good. It's activate yeah, battle. Yeah, that's what I mean. So it's essentially a better version of the freezer. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I mean, in a pinch, you can pay another energy and make him 26k during your opponent's turn just so they don't remove him. Uh, That's true. And once also, during your turn, once during your opponent's turn. That and also... um, Oh, balls. You can uh, throw in a champ into the combo. Double strike crit out yeah. of nowhere. Two energy, but yeah, it's doable. I mean, two energy for double strike crit. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's good because it'll be twenty five k at that point. It it do you know what this really reminds me of is the Gohan from Clash of Fates. <laughs> the draw a card when you play it, but then it has two specified green and gains critical. Yeah. Uh oh, and then we have Zangia, the Savage Peter. You can take this one. Oh, she's a she's super combo again. Super combo again. She's zero cost five k super combo. Ooh. If your leader card is blue, any blue leader, and your life is at four or less, when this card is used in a combo from your hand, draw one card, then choose one card other than this card in your combo area, and it gets plus 6k combo power for the battle. Interesting. That so is... she's technically 11k combo. Is she? Because she can't yeah, choose but... herself. Yeah, but... She provides 11k though, doesn't she? I, I get 5k yeah, and 6k. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Huh. Oh, I don't think again, that makes much difference. But then I think again, this Bojack's seems... all about comboing stuff off, so. I guess, but that 6k is just weird. It is weird. It is weird. Technically, that 6k is as good as 10k. Yeah, because it's like the addition. Yeah, if you're 15 you and you give 6k, you become 21. Yeah. Look, yeah. Technically, she's a 15k combo. Yeah, I can see it. I, I, I can see the logic behind it. I can see the logic behind it. Uh, yeah, then, she can be good defensively. Then we have Beto the Cruel. A one cost, zero five, four k The from... artwork on those cards is... I, I don't know where they're pulling this from. It's insane. I don't know if they've just gone into the movie and just redrawn it. I actually... I, I need to find this out because I don't remember seeing heroes cards like this. So... 
I, unless it's just completely new or based off of character designs. I'm, I don't know. Um, so then we have the Beater the Cruel. It is a... Uh, when you play it, draw a card, so it's a cantrip. You've got the activate battle. Oh, I love this activate battle stuff. It's so good. Uh, once per turn, pair one. This card gets 11k and double strike. So then you can pair it on the opposite with the freezer. With the freezer, yeah. I, I like this. I like this a lot. Uh, Peter, any thoughts? Those cards can be really scary in like aggro oriented deck. Yeah, yeah, straight up. Because they're not leader bound in any way. Nope. They are generic. Uh, this is just great. This is great stuff for. Oh, I'm running some blue, but I need a bit more pressure. All right, just chuck this card, and you literally lose nothing from playing it. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I really like this card. Uh, any final thoughts on this one, Peter? Uh, no, it's just a solid card. I'm already on the next one. Okie dokie. Ah, bougie. Yeah, I like bougie a lot. You can take this on there. You can take this one. So, it's a free drop, two specified blue. Bougie the Evildoer. Uh, one cost, 5k combo. So, with the blue Bojack leader, it's a... Zero cost. 5k power, unique blocker. One energy. If your leader card is a Bojack Brigade card. Interesting fact. It doesn't need to be blue Bojack Brigade. Nope. You can use the yellow leader if you want. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. At the end of the battle in which you combo with this card, you can play it from your drop area. So it's a one cost blocker, essentially. Yeah. But when this card is played, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with cost greater than their energy. And it can't attack or be used in a combo until end of their next turn. That's good. That's really good. So you do your opponent's turn. You choose one of their cards. This turn, your turn, and their next turn, it can't do shit. That's hilarious. That's amazing. That's actually so good. You can take out a card from circulation for two turns. Three turns, essentially. Yeah, because then you can combo it off on the next turn and play another one. Yeah. Y yeah, you could keep it down. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow. That's cool. I really like that. Another Bujin. <laughs> Bujin, the commando. It's a one cost zero 5k. It's a counter attack. If your leader card is a Bojack Brigade, again, not specifying yellow or blue, which we love to see here at LPG. Negate the attack. Play this card. If you activate this card's counter attack skill from where what? Negate the from your energy. If you, you replace the energy. Wow. Permanent, you can activate this card's counter skill from your energy by paying its energy cost and choosing one card in your hand and discarding it. So you can turn any card from your hand into this negate. And you can use himself to yeah, uh, pay for I, it. I love this. This is awesome. And it replaces itself. So yeah, wow. Yeah. Wow, this could be huge. Yeah, this could... Any card in your hand. So suddenly playing multiple of Unisys is not that bad because you have something to do with it. Yeah, yeah, straight up, straight up. Wow, really cool, really cool. <laughs> Peter, the evil doer, Peter, you can say this, boy. Uh, free drop, to specified blue. One cost 5k combo, so he's going to be a uh, combo play. Mm -hmm. He's going to play himself yep. in combo. Unique critical. Ooh. Uh, for one energy, he's going to play himself if he was comboed from hand or energy. Uh, if it's your opponent's turn when this card is played... You switch up to one of your blue energy to activate. He's a free play critical 15k. Activate main once per turn. You can pay one energy. Choose up to one of your opponent's bundle cards with energy cost of three or less and place it at the bottom of its owner's deck. It's nice to have. It's a nice removal. Yeah, it's it's there, right? But it's a free play critical. That's awesome. Man, there's so much good stuff with this Bojack. I can't believe how well they've done. They, I they've... mean, this Bojack looks way better than the Gohan, let's be honest. Ah, I'm still a Gohan fanboy. You're not changing my uh, opinion on that. That 10 drop sure. Gohan is everything. Uh, but it does look very good. This does look very good. Uh, we have another Zangia. Yay! The Evil Doer. A free cost, one specified blue, one ten, uh, one five combo. Sorry, my bad. Uh, when this card is using the combo, in from your battle area, draw or energy. Wait, what? When yeah, uh, Bojack can combo from energy. Ooh. And so I guess this is the one that you would super combo up? Yeah, so the leader says uh, activate battle once per turn. You can use mono blue Bojack Brigade in energy from your energy in combo. If you do, place the top card of your deck in rest mode in your energy. Yeah, so you use your energy, you combo her off, then you can use Zangir as well. 
uh, the super combo, so then she becomes a The thing here, is that one thing I'm going to two. point out, it's you combo this with a skill so you don't pay energy for this combo. Yeah, so I'm just like, yeah, but with Zangyu, you're drawing two and you're getting the 11, uh, the 15k combo. Yeah. Yeah. So you combo this from your energy, you charge a card and you use super combo. Yeah. That, that's you have good. essentially 16 or so 20k combo and you drew two cards. Yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. <laughs> uh, you know what's the issue here? That deck is going to mill itself. Yeah, that's fine. It's very fine. quickly. Let, let's play Four Saiyan Instincts. Let's do it. Uh, if you, if you saw our live stream last night, you'll know all about milling ourselves out. <laughs> oh, oh God, good... yeah, we we did some weird the, stuff. Those, uh... I know that's a good point to mention. We are streaming every Tuesday some Dragon Ball games, and every Thursday Nathan is streaming Magic. Yeah. So cool. make sure to uh, tune in to our Twitch at uh, twitch.tv slash playersguild. The link is in the description. There you go. You've got that plug in there, Peter. So then we have a free cost, two specified blue. Goku and the Evil Doer. A 1-5 combo. Thanks, Tommy. Just popping up there. <laughs> um, auto, one blue at the end of your battle. Oh, wait, sorry. At the end of the battle in which this guy... Oh, it's the combo player. But this yeah, it's a combo player. Blue. This one's specified blue. Mm. Uh, when this card is played, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and it costs one or less and place it at the bottom of yeah. the deck. Uh, that's like whelming, but it's also a common. I mean, <laughs> it's a common. It's also 20k body. I do like the water coming up on him though. I think the artwork yeah. is stellar for this card. I like, mean, it's a 20k body. The others were like 5 or 10 or 15. True, the critical a, a 10 was 15. body is not bad, right? Yeah. 20k body, you know, it's a 20k body. Yeah. Yeah. And the deck probably is going to have a freezer or champer in there it could be potentially lethal like there's some good stuff with it i don't know if i'd run it personally but yeah i don't think i would run it it's too specific it's not unique though so technically because you can combo it from your energy that is also true yeah it's an interesting one uh i think wow we we just got all the love in the world here uh for Burjack. yeah i i like I know a lot of people. We still haven't it. seen the unison, so it's either multicolor or we're going to see it on Friday. I want to agree with you; it's going to be multicolor. As much as I, I'm scared of multicolor. I, unison. I will put it out there in the world. If it's not a multicolor blue yellow unison for Burjack, I'll do a punishment of some kind. We'll figure that out later. But and I. The one that thing is, I'm scared of multicolor unison. I know, and you, you've got a video ready to talk about it. Well, we, yes. we're not talking about that in this video, Peter. Um, mm. So, overall, what do you think of Burjack also and Panangiru? Because we can't forget uh, Panangiru. Panangiru, I think, is really nice for Gohan. But Gohan, sadly, uh, feels like a... It's a deck that needs to see Krillin. If you don't see Krillin, you will have a hard time playing your strategy. Yeah. At least, at least, if you're playing it how it's intended, I'm sure people yeah. will break. Well, that's that what deck. we're going to be doing for Anta Potential. That's so, true. Yeah, I'm you sure need Krillin. I'm sure someone's going to break that deck in two very quickly. Um, I love the artwork on Pan and Giru. It's absolutely fantastic. I love seeing Pan. I love seeing Giru. And of course, the Burjack stuff just makes me excited in the pants. Um, so yeah, overall thoughts on these, Peter. I like the Burjack stuff. The Burjack stuff feels like it belongs together. Yeah. You know, it, it's a it very feel, good it feels, shift. It's a it feels good, good together. Yeah, it doesn't completely alienate the old stuff. Yeah, um, but it does completely new stuff in a way that I think we've not seen in the game, and it feels very fresh. I think that eight drop is going to be interesting to run with the old stuff as well. Oh yeah, for sure. There's going to be some strategy. That eight drop there. looks scary. The fact because it's not unique. The fact it can, it's not unique. It can come off the counter play, uh, counter attack. Sorry. Um, or, and the counterplay, right? I think the uh, Agent of Resurrection is for the Arrival one. Uh, but it's the also... Arrival one is uh, for drop, yes. Yeah. You can uh, evolve on top also, of that. And there's also the Burjack Evildoer, which comes in when you combo it. So I Yeah, there is, ton there is tons of stuff you can do. Uh, personally, if it's going to actually go into multicolor, mm -hmm. I would like to see a multicolor that comes untapped uh, if you have a Bojack Brigade on board. Yeah, that'd be cool. And then the free drop negate. Yeah. You know, negate the attack, middle one card. Yeah, yeah. Um, so and yeah. then evolve into this guy. That's our overall thoughts, guys. Let us know. 
Very happy with blue. Uh, I think we've seen pretty much all of blue now, right? Maybe. Uh... No, totally we sure. haven't seen. We haven't seen all the blue. We haven't seen the unison yet. Yeah, but that's multicolored. I don't count. <laughs> I'm, 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 yeah. I'm almost there, and it's multicolored. But yeah, okay. Other than the unison, I think we've seen all the blue, right? Uh, I think I think we have seen much. I haven't checked the uh, numbers. I know there's going to be some leftovers, like fluff for the set. Some skillless uh, so cards. Skillless cards or just general fluff, you know? Oh yeah, no, uh, there is at least one blue. We haven't seen it's the skillless Gohan. Uh, it was in the trailer, so okay. I really haven't seen it on the review. So yeah, uh, there's going to be some cards on Friday. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow we have Rest of the Red. So I want to see Young Invaders. Yeah. I want to see more for King Vegeta. Give me King Vegeta stuff. Subscribe, like, comment below. Let us know what you think of the Bo Bojack color shift. Let us know of the strategies you think you'll see between blue and yellow. Uh, let us know if you're excited to see... Uh, let, us, let us know if you're Team Gohan or Team Bojack. Me and Peter have clearly picked sides. I'm Team Gohan for untapped potential, and Peter is Team Bojack. It's going to yeah, be a I, battle I... for sure. Um, yeah, subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow, guys, for the more Dragon Ball Super Card Game Supreme Rivalry reveals. Oh, God, yes. Also, more, more tomorrow, and then on Friday. Ah! Friday's going to be...